Okay, this is a quick demonstration of making 2D generative art in Blender. Um, so I'm just using the default cube. I add a texture and I'm gonna actually use the Musgrave texture and also the brick, brick texture. Um, so let me make this a bit bigger. Um, so it, I'm actually going to plug in the height for Musgrave in the oh no in the scale here. Let's see, God damn it. Um, yeah, so here you can get quite interesting uh, patterns. I'll use the multifractal, um, and it's basically a matter of uh, playing with uh, parameters. Um, so you can, of course, get more or less detail. So this is yeah, no detail from the Musgraves. You just get the bricks, uh, and you can see how this can uh, already yeah become quite interesting. Um, so and I don't even know what all the parameters do exactly. I just uh, uh, experiment here with trial and error basically. Um, and I'm also going to use the texture coordinates. Um, so the so I'm, so use the object. Uh, coordinates for both of them yeah so from this so now for the brick texture yeah the offset is basically every second uh, row for the bricks let's see yeah so if you have bricks then you see the offset is the yeah the offset for every second row so now i'm going to start to keep them all uh, aligned uh, and use some other scale yeah so this you can endlessly uh, yeah try values out here um yeah so as i said you can just plug in values from here and just see what's uh what's what's nice and what's not um so i'm gonna you can yeah make the mortar well at just the smoothness. I'm gonna keep it at uh, zero. And then the bricks. Yeah, you see this. These were like the patterns I was basically going after. Um. So I like it here. I have to experiment with the brick size. So 0.2 is quite nice. Um, and if I add, let's see if there's a vector mod node. So I can, I add it in between these, for example. Yeah, so now we can shift the the coordinates around so now you basically can have endless uh yeah patterns you can just yeah curate where you like it the, the most um but maybe i want to scale change the scale again yeah so here you can also just look around a bit where it's nice um, and for colors if you add a color ramp so i can of course change this three colors here um, 